Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Gabbetic. So I hope you enjoyed part one of the Cybonics CGM video. In that part I was unboxing and applying the CGM. I'll give a quick recap but if you want to see that video I'll link it down below in the description. But today we're going to be giving a much more in detail look at the Cybionics CGM. We're going to be looking at things like accuracy, durability, advantages, disadvantages and I'll give my honest opinion of what I thought of this system in comparison to Dexcom and Freestyle Libra. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's get talking about the Cybionics CGM system. A quick recap if you didn't catch my other videos. So the Cybionics CGM system is called the GS1. This is what it looks like. This is how the sensor looks and I'll show you a little clip of it on me after I applied it. But this is how the box comes when you order it and it looks pretty good. It's kind of like a longer Libra, but this is the system that we're going to be working with, the GS1 system. I'll give you a quick recap of part one of my video. In part one of my video, I did an application of the Cybionics CGM. CGM is the GS1 for everyone who remembers. It's a 14 day CGM. Application was fairly easy. As you can see, I have it on here now. It looks like this. It's kind of like a freestyle Libra with a little hole in the middle, but a bit longer, like the Dexcom G6. And it has a really nice overpatch that has hard plastic, which I think is really good. The application I found very easy. Only two disadvantages. I was scanning the wrong QR code. I was scanning this by mistake instead of scanning the box. User error. I did read in the instructions. The instructions did say to scan the box, but that was a little confusing. And the sensor itself did bleed when I first put it on. As you can see, it's perfectly fine now, so no issues there. But yeah, you can watch that video in detail if you want to see me unboxing and applying it, because we're going to keep going forward now and talking about the rest of the features of the CGM and how its accuracy compares and how its durability compares to Dexcom and Freestyle Libre. Facts about the GS1 first. So it is a 14 day CGM. It's a CGM, which means you don't have to scan it. It real time updates every five minutes. So we're going to be checking that on the app, seeing how that works. It does only have an app, it doesn't have a receiver, so we'll see how that goes. It says it has the same accuracy as Dexcom and Freestyle Libre 3, we'll be testing that out. It says it's waterproof, I'm gonna be testing that out tomorrow, wait until you see that. It has alarms and it can connect to your hospital team using their feature ProView, which I guess is similar to LibreLink and Clarity to work with your hospital teams and keep your time in range and things like that. And yeah, I'm excited. So the warm-up is finished now. Let's have a quick little look at the app and see how things are looking. I'll be filming this video over a while because it's a two-week life of this product. So I'm going to be using it for the full two weeks, seeing how I get on. I'll have my Dexcom G7 on as always. So we'll be comparing it throughout. So yeah, let's take a little look at the app. And now that I've finished the warm-up, let's see my first blood glucose reading. Usually you get a noise, like Dexcom goes off with a little noise to say the warm-up's complete. Didn't get any noise, but that's okay. But let's show you what it looks like. So here's the screen. And first two things that I'm liking, I'm really liking how big the number is on there, the 9.9. .9. I find that very clear and easy to see. I'm in this like bluey green color now. So I think that's because I'm like in an average. I'll be interested to see if it'll change colors if I'm low or if I'm high. And also one thing I really, really like, I'm liking the way, if you see here, first of all, it has the time of when the last 9.9 .9 reading was, because as I said, it updates in real time every five minutes, like the Dexcom G7 and the G6. But also if you hover over the graph, the graph is just starting. We're going to take a proper look at it later. You can see 1511 and then 1516. This feature is not on Dexcom. You can get it if you log on to the Dexcom Clarity. And obviously on Libra itself, because you're scanning it, you get a time on that, but you don't ever on Dexcom see the times. So I'm really, really, really liking that because that was one of the things, if you ever watched my previous videos, I didn't like was that you had no time. You couldn't say like, oh, at three o'clock I was this reading. You could only do that if you logged into the desktop app and Clarity and stuff. So I'm really liking that because now I can say that at 10 past three I was this, a quarter past three on this, and I could see actual times and changes and use those figures as values. So I'm really liking my first glance at it. Obviously it's just finished warm up. I've just put it on. If anything noticeable happens between now and dinner time, I will tell you, but dinner time would be about five or six o'clock. We'll see how it is then and I'll catch up with you. Hello everyone. So it's a little while later. I'm about to have my dinner and I'm really testing it today because I'm gonna have a pizza and you know, how pizza is with diabetes, it's a hard one. So I'll be really closely looking on the app to see how I'm doing. 
So I'm really liking the Cybionic CGM so far. Right now, my blood sugar on there is 5.8, as you can see from the graph. So I'm really in range. So you can see that I did come down throughout the day. And where the line is, you can kind of see like it's almost this light blue and then white. So the light blue is like where I want to be in range. I'm in range. I'm loving that I can actually see the different markings and every five minutes of where I am and see what the reading was at that time. I am loving that. I really like it. So blood sugar is 5.5 .5 on Cybionics. And on Dexcom, it's actually 9.2. So as you can see, we're like very different at the moment. Nana is very hungry. It's okay. So I will check again in a while. I'll actually, you know what? I'm going to get my finger prick before I have my dinner and just see which is more accurate. If the Cybionics is off, this does happen with my Dexcom. When I put on a new Dexcom, usually I have to calibrate it. It could be the case for the Cybionics because it is only been on about three hours now. So we will see. But that is a big difference between the two. So I will check now on my blood sugar meter to see which is more accurate. And then I'll be having dinner. And yeah, I'll let you know if I do have to recalibrate it. But I'm loving the app so far. But the accuracy, I'm like hoping it's just because it's a new sensor and I need to kind of tune it a bit. We'll see. 8.3 is my blood sugar. Okay, so I was just having a little play around there. And I can't, it doesn't seem to calibrate it when I add the blood glucose reading. You can see that I can do the plus add the blood glucose and have it there as a record. It doesn't seem to be able to calibrate it. So we'll see if it does get more accurate as the Dexcom is. Uh, we'll give it some time, a day or two, and see how it goes. Things I'm really liking on the app, I I'm actually really liking how the app looks. So I like the way it has the different breakdown of the hours that you can click to look around. Kind of the same as Dexcom in that sense. Also, I'm liking on the plus button all of the different things you can add. Some things like insulin and exercise and blood glucose that are already on the Dexcom G7 app. But things like mood and sleep, they aren't on the G7. They're the first time I've ever seen these on this app. As you can see, I added in happy as a mood because that's how I'm feeling. And I really like that. I don't know, like maybe it would be good if you're feeling stressed that you could add stress if you're having high blood sugar there. And just having a quick look then at some of the kind of daily reports. So this is for Tuesday, which is today. You can see my time and range and it actually tells me the hours, which I really like. It does tell you that on Clarity and Libra Link, but not on the apps themselves. So that's really good. And also the time above range and the time below range. Never seen that before. That's a big plus. I really like that. It seems like there's a lot more, like they put thought into what a type 1 diabetics would like to see on the app. So that's really good. So anyway, that's the end of day one. I'll be seeing how I get on throughout the night keeping an eye on it. We're going to do the waterproof test because I'm actually on a week off work. So I wanted to try, I'm going, I'm going to a hotel tomorrow and there's a pool. So I'm definitely trying to waterproof test tomorrow. And I'm just interested to see in terms of how it's feeling. I haven't noticed it on my arm at all. So I want to see if that continues like that. And I want to keep finding new features, sharing them with you guys. I really like to see that time above range and time below range. I think that's really good. So I'll see you in the morning. 7.59 a.m. I'm out for a walk with, who's that? Zana, good girl. So I'll just give you a recap. So since I last talked to you, I had obviously eaten the pizza and that did make me have a high blood sugar and both of my things alarmed. So on the Cybonics, it did go orange when it's high, which is the same as the Dexcom and the Libra. And my Dexcom did alarm as well. So they both went off. Dexcom was saying 17 and Cybonics was saying 14. I didn't check on my meter because I knew it was high. So it didn't really matter. And after that, I had one high alarm by Dexcom at like 6 a.m. to say I was like 13. And I looked at the Cybionics and that was saying I was a bit lower, I was like nine. So I did take some insulin like 6 a.m. and that helped that. So I had my breakfast and I'm walking at the moment. It's 10 a.m. My blood sugar on Dexcom is in the sevens and on the Cybionics is 5.3. I think they're pretty close together. They're both kind of the same direction of the arrow. Like I said, I'm actually out early walking Nana and I will be going away because it, I have a week off work. So we're going away for a night and Lana's Nana is going to mind her actually. So that'll be fun. So we'll be testing out the waterproof capabilities of the Cybionics and the Dexcom as well because I guess I haven't really tested out but mostly the Cybionics so yeah I'm looking forward to going away I'll be keeping an eye on the Cybionics oh yeah how I slept on it I couldn't feel it at all sleeping which is great because the Dexcom G6 was so bulky I used to feel that all the time but this is nice smooth flat so I didn't feel it and I lie on my side so I was worried about that so that was really good so yeah I'll update you later on in the day but I'm liking it so far I just hope that it kind of 
gets more even out in terms of the Dexcom. But I'll bring my blood sugar meter to check, which is actually more accurate. So yeah, and yeah, I'll see you for swimming. And just a moment of appreciation <laughs> for the view. Look at that where I'm walking. So nice, Dana. Let's keep going. I'm in the hotel, so I'm getting ready to go swimming. So first of all, the blood sugar check. So on the actual one, it's 11.2. Uh, so it's kind of high, so I had to take some insulin, even though I am going swimming now, so I hope I don't go low. The Cybionics is actually closer, so it's 10.5 and kind of slightly up. And then the Dexcom is alarming at 13, so I'm going high. So it's actually closer to Cybionics, so maybe it's sorting itself out. So we're gonna be testing the waterproof capabilities of the Cybionics. So, Dexcom on one arm, this on the other arm, but I'll let you know when I come back. I've actually don't know if I've really, I actually don't really know if I've had a G7 on in the pool either. So a bit of a test for that, but the main test is seeing how the Cybionics copes in the pool. It does say it's waterproof online in the bath, shower and the pool. So let's see. Hey, hello. I'm back from the pool. It was really nice. <laughs> Pretty good. It does have a little help, has the overpatch interesting things so i've been in the room about three or four minutes as soon as i walked into the room the cybionics app connected to my cgm so there's no waiting around the dexcom hasn't connected yet it's still saying signal loss because i didn't bring the phone to the pool with me so big plus for cybionics there it literally connected immediately no signal loss and it's reading straight away it's 9.9 .9. i did my actual blood sugar and that's 11.4 at the moment so pretty close just check the Dexcom there and it's saying 11.2, but the Cybionics, I think a big plus was that it connected straight away, even if it, what did I say, it's 9.9, .9. so it's like a tiny bit off. Obviously the Dexcom is way closer at 11.2 in comparison to the 11.4, but both of them stayed on really well in the water and yeah, that was a big plus. As far as the waterproof tests go, the Cybionics is definitely waterproof. I was in the pool, deep in the pool and it's still working and it reconnected immediately when I walked back into the room. So no signal loss there, that's great. So that's kind of day two with the Cybionics. Tomorrow, I think I'll have a little look at the graphs that we have and go through them because it'll be three full days and I'll see if I've noticed anything else major. And then I'm gonna be wearing it for two weeks. So every few days, I think I'll update you and let you know and let you know how it's doing in terms of accuracy, if it's still on, if I find out anything new, if there's anything I hate. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. Day three. So my actual blood sugar is 15, the Cybionics is saying 14.3 and Dexcom is way off at 18.9 and going straight up. So it seems when I'm in the higher or the lower that the Cybionics is more accurate to my actual blood glucose results. So two days later. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to catch up with you. It's day five wearing my Cybionics CGM. Let's take a look at it first. Honestly, I've had no problems with it. I haven't hit off anything once. I haven't really felt it on me at all. And it's pretty stuck on there, as you can see. Dexcom's on here. Probably that Dexcom's actually gonna come off in a few days. So, you know, the Dexcom's only 10 days, whereas the Cybionics is 14 days. Definitely a pro there. So anyway, let's talk about how I've gotten on the last few days. It's been very fun having another sensor on to kind of see how things are going. So I will say I was having a huge variation in the blood sugars at the start. It's definitely settled down. So my blood sugars, they're kind of like, the Cybionics seems a little bit lower. So like Dexcom here saying 7.7 .7 and then the Cybionics is saying this. We're gonna check it out on the monitor. But like when they're like between one millimole, it's kind of just like, it's not too different. I actually have found that when I'm in the more higher or the lower, the Cybionics is more accurate than what the Dexcom says to in comparison to my blood sugar. So let's check now anyway. I did just have some cheesecake, so I don't know what that's doing for the blood sugar. Okay, error. So I'll just keep talking while this is going again. So an interesting thing on the Cybionics I actually really like, and I'll show you here. So you can see that it has this list of alarms. So there's the low, urgent, low, and high. And I actually really like this because you can go in and see all of the alarm events, whereas you can't see those, like you can see them on the graph on Dexcom, but you can't like individually see them or see what time they're at. And what the value was so i really really like that feature hmm. my blood sugar must be going up from the cheesecake because i'm 9.5 yeah so i did notice that there is like one or two kind of millimoles in the difference between them that's okay so i'm kind of keeping an eye between them and the readings on the actual blood glucose and they're like fairly similar so say like if i'm six the cybionics might say i'm like 5.5 and the dexcom might say i'm like 6.5 so i'm kind of like in the middle there but you have to remember the sensors aren't measuring blood 
glucose they're measuring the fluid in between so bear that in mind but we will be keeping an eye throughout the next part of the video so one thing i really like is the alarm lists on cybonics so you can see your individual alarms for urgent low low and high and i really like this because on dexcom you can only see on the graph where you went high or low you can't go in on the app at least maybe you could do it in the reports on the computer and see where you had those lows and the exact time and the exact value so i really really like that on the cybionics i just like having actual data points and like I said, remember on the Cybionics, it updates every five minutes, but you can actually see when you go through the graph, those readings every five minutes, and you can actually have a value and a time, whereas on Dexcom, you can't do that. Oh, let's have a little look on the Cybionics app. So there's, I really do like the app, I have to say that. So there's two kind of sections for the reports. There's the daily report, and then there's AGP report, which I think is average glucose profile. So daily report, you can see here when you click on it. I actually really like that you can go day by day. So on the Dexcom, obviously you have your graph for 24 hours, but when you want to go like that, you start off at like two days, then 7, 14, 30. But you can only go from two days like you can't see each individual day and i really like that i can like flick through each day and i could see the percentage that i was time in range time below range time above range and like i said before i like that it's not just a percentage it actually shows you like in hours and minutes as you can see here the time below range in minutes and hours things like that so i've been doing better on my blood sugars this week anyway so i'm really liking i can see each day on the cybionics app I know on the Dexcom you can see the graph like the bar chart per day but you can't like go into the specific day and see the specific values so then we go into the AGP reports so on Cybonics it starts at 7 but you can and it goes 7 14 30 90 like the Dexcom now the Dexcom has a 3 there which is good because you do kind of want to see every three days as well so maybe they could add that in but you can custom you can add the custom value so i could do that there if i wanted to and you'll notice there's some other things here so there's the coefficient variation so i was like hmm, what's this because this is a new thing so you can see here the little kind of summary that it gives for it and it says that you want this below 36 mine's apparently 35 so that's pretty good so i think that's just saying the variation between the readings you want that to be below that value and it is so that's good and then yeah, you can see your nice graph along here along the bottom i really like how it looks and then you can actually when you're in the agp you can actually click on this little report here and it makes a kind of report that looks really like the freestyle libra libra link report if you ever saw that so obviously you have your bar chart that breaks down high low very high very low etc then you have your other values here like your average glucose that coefficient variant things like that like mine's doing good 7.3 here at the moment average glucose if you scroll down the bottom i really like this it's like a little calendar and then you could see your graph going over that i think there's something like that on libra link as well if i remember i think it was like yeah i think it was like each individual day though and it goes on but i like that there's like a kind of little month view of the calendar you can see in the yellow where i've gone above what i should be and then when i'm in range how that looks and i also saw that you can email and download the reports pretty good i'm sure you could do that on the other apps but i like that your physician can see this you can download it and email to them if you want to but they can see it through the pro view and your family and friends can see your readings through the pro view as well which is just like dexcom clarity or libra link they're there too yeah so far day five going well i can't believe it's been five days already so probably do another update in a few days um i said yeah the cybernetics seems to read a bit lower and the dexcom seems to read a bit higher than my actual blood sugar so that's something I'll be keeping an eye on and that's why the cybernetics looks like I've loads of alarms because it has been reading a bit lower so I've been kind of judging between Dexcom and my actual blood sugar which alarms are the most accurate so something to keep an eye on because like there were some alarms that went off at like 4.3 and stuff and then when I looked at my Dexcom I was like 5 and my blood sugar meter was like 4.9 or something and I didn't treat the low then because I knew that I was actually kind of okay, even though Cybionics was saying I was going low. So something to keep an eye on anyway for the next few days, but I am really liking it. I've had no problems with it at all, really. And I've had no signal loss. That's the thing. The Dexcom, if I step out of room and I come back, I always have signal loss, but I seem to be more connected to the Cybionics. So we'll see how the rest of the week goes. Hey, just a quick catch up on the morning of day six, I think it is, after my last clip. I'm just been for a run. I am going low after, which is not so fun. So I have a lift here. My actual blood sugar is three, but I just wanted to compare. So actually, the side bionics is more accurate. I'm 3.2 on that going straight across. It did flash up actually before the Dexcom and it had an urgent low alert. So this is what I was saying here. 
that I was going low there. And it's actually a dark red colour when you're in urgent low, which is interesting. But now it's saying I'm about 3.2 on that. Dexcom is saying 2.7 going down. They're all kind of the same, but Cybonix slightly more accurate. Either way, I'm going to have this. But I did want to just take a note that the Cybonix did alarm first to say the hypo was starting. So just a random, I think I'm on day seven night time blood sugar. I wasn't feeling great, so I did a ketones as well. But blood sugar is 9.8. Dexcom saying 10.2. Very close. Cybonics is saying 7.7. .7. Interesting, the Cybonics is saying I'm going slightly down. And this is a bit lower than 10.2. Whereas the Dexcom is saying I'm steady. So we'll see if I do start to go down on the Dexcom. But yeah, Dexcom fairly on it right now. Cybonics a little bit lower. My blood sugar on the Dexcom is saying 4.5. And the Cybionics is saying 2. And my actual blood sugar, I just checked it, is 3.9. So 2.4 on Cybionics, Dexcom 4.5. I would say Cybionics is more accurate in the fact that it's saying I'm low. <sighs> then Dexcom, so I'm going to go have some lift now. Glim nails! Also, the Dexcom ends today. So remember, the Dexcom only has 10 days and Cybionics is 14. So that's something to bear in mind. But Lana's going to keep me company while I have some sugar, aren't you? And that's day eight. Four to six days later. Okay, everybody. So it is the last day. It's day 14 of the Cybionics. And as you can see, this holding on for dear life. So one thing to note is that it doesn't give you any warning like Dexcom does. So Dexcom says like 24 hours and 12 hours and also gives you an extra 12 hours on the G7 grace period. But this is just dead and it just dies. It doesn't give you any alert. You have to like go onto the home screen and see how long it's left. So I went on and I saw a few hours. Then I saw 19 minutes. And when I went on back then, it just says like connect a new sensor. So we're going to pull it off. See how easy the removal is. Oh, oh no. Okay, here we go. Oh, right. Not going well, as you can see. It is like breaking in loads of parts. Not ideal. So I'm gonna try the other side. Okay, I got the over patch off first. Oh, it's coming off like bit by bit. Paper is like disintegrating. Dexcom G7 I find does this as well. Except when I have an over patch on. Oh. Can't tell what part is even coming out at this point. Fuck. Right, the needle part is out, but it didn't come out all in one together. Look at that, right. It's off. Okay, you can see that's off. That's it there. So you can see the needle there. Honestly, pulling it off was not great. Hello everyone and welcome to the very end of the video. So the last time you saw me, I took off my Cybionic CGM and now I just want to give an overview of the 14 days and what I actually thought was the best and worst things about this new Cybionics GS1 CGM. I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. I had lots of fun trying it out and I was actually really, really surprised of how much I did like this CGM. I've tried Dexcom and Libra and there's been pros and cons of both. And I've also tried lots of different blood glucose monitors. And some of those blood glucose monitors I really hated compared to the AccuJack Mobile. So I thought, you know, this Cybionics, I never really heard of it. What's going to be like but it was actually overall i think really good so let's get into it let's start at the very beginning so i did split this video into a part one and a part two just because there was so much that i wanted to go into that i didn't want like an hour-long video so for my part one i'll link that in the description down below if you haven't seen that i focused on the initial unboxing and what i initially thought and the application of the cgm first of all i do really like the way the cybionics looks it's very similar to freestyle libra i will say that and a lot of of people commented that in the last part one video too it looks like freestyle libra and the application is very similar and i actually like that a lot there's something about cybionics and freestyle libra the applicator built all in one it's just very smooth and very simple dexcom g6 with the transmitter and everything it's just a lot of work i feel the g7 has made things better but even at that i just feel like there's something smooth about the freestyle libra and i felt that with the cybionics as well you know, it was very easy. You just open up the packet, tear off the applicator, push the sensor in, get it ready, place it on your arm and put in one code and good to go. 
I really, really did like the application and I actually liked how it looked as well. It just looked like a longer Freestyle Libra. And I really loved the overpatch that came in the box because it was like a hard plastic overpatch and that just helped it feel more secure. And like I said, the application was so easy. Dexcom G6 with the transmitter, I found very difficult to like get my head around the first time. But this was very simple, just like put it on and put in one code and you're good to go. Now let's talk about anything that went wrong. So if you watched my first video, you would know that the very first GS1 sensor I put on was a bleeder. So this has happened to me with Freestyle Libra and Dexcom. More with Freestyle Libra, I don't know if it's the design of that like circle with the kind of mini circle in the middle. It kind of bleeds through there. And that's what happened with the Cybionics CGM. So, you know, this could have been a total fluke. And I also did put it on the arm that I just had had a dex come on. So that could have been something as well. But it's something to keep an eye on. You know, this video, I was gifted the CGMs, but this is my honest opinion. So I'm going to be totally honest with you of what I think here. If you did have any bleeders, you could probably contact the customer service. I have no experience with this, so I don't really know. But in terms of Libra, they were very helpful whenever that happened and Dexcom. So I couldn't imagine it being any different. Another thing about the application process, the warm up time of the GS1 sensor is 60 minutes. So that sits somewhere in the middle. As you know, Dexcom G7 is only 30 minutes and then Dexcom G6 is two hours. So we're like kind of in the middle and I think Freestyle Libra 2 is 60 minutes as well. So, you know, it could be better, could be worse. Not a major thing in my opinion, but something to know. For Dexcom and Libra, you can put it on your stomach and the back of your arm. But for Cybionics GS1, so far, it's only approved for the back of the arm. Maybe that's coming in the future. But, you know, if you're a person that only uses your stomach for putting on these CGMs, that will be very handy to know and you might not like that you have to put it on your arm. So it's useful to know that. So overall, I thought the application was very smooth, very easy. There was a few bumps like the bleeding and, you know, the warm up time's a bit longer. But I did really think it was a nice application and very easy to do. So in this video, I showed you a lot of the Cybionics app. I absolutely love the app. So my favorite things on the app were that you could actually see data points of your last reading. So it updates every five minutes, as you saw in the video. And I've said so many times, because it's my favorite part of the video, that as you click along the graph, you can see the data points. And even in the little box, it tells you the last time that you had your readings. But I just love this because I find with Dexcom, it's so hard. Like you can look at the graph and you could see, okay, between two o'clock and four o'clock, I was somewhere like this on the graph, but there's no actual data points. And like, sometimes I just want to know what was my reading before dinner? What was my reading like two hours ago at this exact time? Especially, you know, if you're trying to carb count and things like that, it can be very useful to know post two hours where you are. I know you can look at the graph on Dexcom, but I just loved having the actual data points. And I think if you go on Dexcom Clarity, like the reports, you can see that, but like having it right there on the app on the phone, so good. I really, really loved that on the app. The other thing I loved as well is that when you're looking at your kind of built-in reports on the app, there was two new things. There's time below range and time above range as well as time in range. So we all know that Dexcom and Libra have their time in range and they give us that as a percentage, but I've never seen time above range and below range there. And I really liked having that. And I really liked that it was in hours and minutes and not just a percentage. We're so used to looking at our time in range that it's handy to know these other things as well. And overall, I just felt like the Cybionics app was actually built by someone who maybe was diabetic and it kind of had in mind the things we're looking for. Like we want to see the data points. We want to see the time below and above range in minutes. You can add in your mood on there, different things like that. I really, really, really love the app. The only thing against this then is that there's no receiver. So you know Dexcom and Libra, you can get a physical receiver. I have asked Cybionics this question. I haven't got a response yet. If I do, when this video is out, I'll write it in the comments but there didn't seem to be any receivers. So if you're a person that doesn't like to use your phone, which is fair enough for this kind of stuff, you might be a bit stuck because I do know a lot of people like to use receivers and I haven't been using my receiver so much, but I did like to use it before, especially when there's issues with signal loss. Luckily there isn't for this CGM, but you know, it's nice to have a receiver option as well. Speaking of signal loss though, we all know Dexcom G7 is like famous for its signal loss. And I don't really notice it that much myself, but definitely if you like leave a room and come back in, you have a signal loss. And Cybionics, that is not an issue because if you remember in the part where I went to the swimming pool, as soon as I walked back in the room, the Cybionics was connected and the Dexcom took like five minutes. And what I didn't show in this video, what I did notice is that if you do come in a room, if you do disconnect and you come back into the room where your phone is, the Cybionics literally, as soon as you look at it, it goes like 96, 97, 98, 99, and then it's synced. 
whereas Dexcom's just taking a bit longer and Freestyle Libre does that as well. So signal loss is definitely non-issue. It was actually probably the best of all the CGMs I've had for no signal loss. Alarms then, a definite pro for Cybionics is that you have an alarm list. So you can go low, urgent, low and high, and you can see the actual things. I know, I think on the Libre you can get like a graph of every time you've gone low, but there is actual lists on the Cybionics CGM app. And I really like that because you can see exactly what times again, it's the data points for me. It's having that visibility. I think they've done so well on the app with that. And in the alarms, it's really good. You can definitely just use that and it helps you see trends. Like I know you can see it on the graph with Dexcom Libre, but it's harder to kind of pinpoint exactly where you're going low if you are having issues so cybonics if you're having hypos and you want to see exactly where definitely for you and a big part of this video was the accuracy you know there's the big players dexcom and libra we know that they're like fairly accurate in terms of blood glucose obviously in the cgms there's always going to be a bit of difference between blood glucose that's just the way cgms work they kind of lag by 15 minutes comparing cybonics to dexcom really because that's what i used in this video i did think it was accurate I did think though that it read slightly lower than what my actual Dexcom said and my blood glucose. So when I was in range though, so when I was in range, I felt like if I was like on the blood sugar monitor eight, I felt like the Cybionics was like seven and Dexcom was like 8.1. So I did feel like in those time and ranges, <laughs> sorry, Lana's here. So I did feel like in those time and ranges that the Dexcom was more accurate. It wasn't that the Cybionics wasn't accurate. It was just that it was reading like slightly lower than the real value. But in contrast then, when I was in the time above range or the time below, so when I had a hypo or a low blood sugar, so like in the extremes, I did feel the Cybionics was way more accurate than the Dexcom. I've showed that in this video. So like when I went low sometimes or when I went high, the Dexcom would be just way off. And then, especially when I was high, the Dexcom could be like 18, the real blood sugar like 15 the Cybionics like 14 and a half. So I felt when I'm in range, the Cybionics read a bit lower than what it should have. And then when I was in the extremes, it was more accurate. It's kind of strange, <laughs> but that is genuinely what I thought. So like, I wouldn't doubt it though as a CGM, like I think it's fairly accurate. And again, like this is my first sensor. So obviously I have to get used to it as well. One flaw though, because sometimes I do put on a Dexcom and it's just not right. Sometimes I put on Dexcom, blood sugar's like five or six, it's telling me I'm like two. And a really handy thing is that you can calibrate the Dexcom. There's no option as far as I could see to do that on the Cybionics. Now, I can ask them as well. I might ask them, but I think that would be very useful because if you're just reading that tiny little bit off, if you could calibrate, I feel like it would just be so much more accurate. So I did send a message to ask about the receiver and I did send a message to ask actually, is Cybionics going to be compatible with any future pumps? And I haven't got a response, but if I do, I'll let you know in the comments. But that's my video trying the Cybionics CGM. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's really fun to try these new CGMs and that they're coming out on the market. You know, it just makes more options for us as type one diabetics. And yeah, it's kind of exciting. So overall, I really did like the Cybonic CGM. My biggest thing I liked was the app. I think it was very user-friendly and it almost felt to me like it was built by a type one diabetic. And then probably the biggest con was that it was slightly a bit lower in the accuracy of the time and range. And that's probably it, but like I wouldn't not try it because of that. So as of right now, they've gotten CE approval in Europe and the UK, and I think Hong Kong but in other countries, it's probably coming soon. So I hope you like this video. I do have one more Cybionic sensor. So let me know if there's any other things you would like to see, or if you want me to try it again in a few months and see how it is. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. I had lots of fun trying it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.